Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to this week's sermon recap video. I've got Pastor Shem Moses with me, and he's just gonna quickly give us a recap of James 5, verses 7 to 12. Yeah. What does the scripture say? Well, it's actually kind of perfect timing um, for Father's Day. I was talking mm. about, let's talk about patience and suffering. Um, and it sounds like fatherhood. It sounds like fatherhood, <laughs> but also sounds like 2020. So. No, yeah, for sure. But it was really cool because James uses this amazing analogy of a farmer who has to wait for two periods of rain, one early, one late, mm. and how we have to trust the process when we're waiting for something to happen. Hmm. So suffering can be, it's not like I said in my sermon, it's not when wings is closed or your coffee order is wrong, that's actually not suffering. But when you're going through actual challenges in life where we have to wait upon the Lord, hmm. be patient and trust the process, knowing that the rains will come, yeah. but we just have to trust it through the process. That's awesome. So from that, there's some practical things that you kind of pulled out for us, especially for the, for the dads. Yeah. Because it was Father's Day. What what were those things that you pulled out for us as Sunrise, as the body of Christ at large? What are those things that we can do? Yeah, uh, really quickly, I know we were talking about um, what we're plugging into. And I mentioned about abiding in the vine. And I think it's really important for us, uh, especially as dads, is what we're plugging into our lives will will show the fruit of what that is. Hmm. I can't plug into something with my own strength and expect myself to grow. Hmm. So I said some of the things that we can do, um, get connected. That's one of the main things. We want to start trusting the process, start trusting God uh, with our lives, start trusting God through the ups and downs. We need to have good people in our lives mm -hmm. that we are connected with, um, allow people to give, give people permission to enter into your life, hmm. get into the Word again. Um, there's lots of other vet, uh, areas where we can get into the Word with social, with um, right now media, with yep. version Bible plans. Mm -hmm. um, start to pray. Um, be teachable, yeah. allow people to invade your life, man. Like, don't do life by yourself. Don't be arrogant and ignorant and be like, I can do this on my own. Especially we as guys, we need other guys to mm -hmm. come alongside of us um, and set yourself up for success. Make sure you're around the right people um, and in the right places to help empower you, to help grow you. Ultimately, it's not about the things you're doing, it's about God's desire for us mm -hmm. to see us not just exist, but to excel as husbands and fathers hmm. and men. That's good. Well, thank you for your time and thank you for uh, the preach on Sunday. If you haven't seen it yet, I encourage you to go on Facebook, on our Facebook page or on our YouTube page and you can rewatch uh, the sermon there. And this week, church will be as usual. So tune in, whether online or register to be here in person. Mm -hmm. And we do not have church online on Friday. We're taking a break for the summer, mm -hmm. but tune, on, tune in on Sunday. God bless you guys, peace out.